Hello, everybody, and welcome to another Kapow Coaching Hub Masterclass. This is a series of interviews with people that I know and trust as being real experts in their field. And today I am absolutely delighted to be joined by Gary Jones, and he's going to be talking to us all about podcasting and getting it right for your business. So welcome, Gary. Thank you so much for joining me today. Um, do you want to tell everybody a little bit more about you and what you do? Yeah, sure. So thank you very much for having us to start off with. My name is Gary from Grow Markets Media and I basically help business owners um, tell their story online using podcasting. So I started listening to podcasts 12 or so years ago and started to produce my own show um, probably around five and a half, six years ago now. And what I found that over that time, it hasn't really changed that much podcasting, but businesses and people's mindsets about it has. So when I first started listening to podcasts, hardly anybody actually knew about them. You know, I had to explain a lot about what they actually are. Um, now people know a bit about it. They might have listened to quite a few of them, but there's still that gap between where they are listening to them and actually building them into their businesses, which is that gap which, but where I help people. I help people formulate the idea. I help people launch their own podcasts, or if they've got a podcast, just take it to the next level. So that's what I love doing, and I'm lucky enough to do that every day at the moment. It's great. It's brilliant, isn't it? When you do what you love, it's fantastic because it shows and, uh, you, you know, it makes life so much easier. And I think, mm. you know, podcasting, I think, is one of those things that so many people talk about needing to do for their business. But, yes. but, you know, they don't really understand what podcasting actually is. Um, so what is it, Gary? What is a podcast? So nice and straightforward. It's an audio, it's an audio file. That's what the English, the Oxford English Dictionary says it is. It's an audio file which can be downloaded um, in a set of instalments or in an ongoing series. That's what the definition is. Basically, it's a video without the, the actual kind of pictures. That's basically what a podcast is. Um, and years ago, it would have been classed as a radio show. A radio show could also be a podcast because, again, it's just a digital file. What it actually is for a business is a great marketing tool. It's just like their blog. It's just like a video. But for the people who don't like to watch videos, the people who don't like to actually read and they just like to absorb the information by listening, podcast is a method of communication that they can when it comes to businesses and your personal brand podcasts can really hit those people who like to listen to stuff and you know at the moment if you're sitting at your desk you can have a podcast on in the background listen to it to the music if you're out driving or walking the dogs or just exercising again you can listen to the podcast so again it's more accessible than reading a blog or watching a video. But what a podcast is, simply just an audio file, which can be about any topic whatsoever. And I think what's really brilliant about that is how accessible that is to so many people, because mm -hmm. I know through coaching, when I talk to people about producing content and all that kind of thing, quite a lot of people have a bit of, you know, they they're not keen on writing blogs in the traditional sense you know they, they don't really want to sit there and have to you know do a bit of keyboard worrying but everybody can chat so you know it's that idea of thinking look you know if you if you're looking to to add another string to your marketing bow for your business then a podcast as you say doesn't have to be any more complicated than than an audio file but you know one of the things i think as well that people sort of struggle with when they're thinking about it is is not just the you know what is it what am I supposed to do how do, how do I how do I do it if you like but yeah. you know what content should I create where should I put it how often should I be podcasting and and I think in some ways that's a little bit sort of how long a, is a piece of string isn't it but what would you say are the biggest mistakes that people make when they get started Gary that that you see and you just think oh don't do that um, there's one that you wouldn't really see they invest in all the equipment straight away without knowing how to do it. You hear the phrase when you go to the gym or you really start new here. That's exactly what people do with podcasts. They spend hundreds and hundreds of pounds on loads of equipment that they might use two or three different times and not really focus on it. What they should be doing is using that time to focus in, work on their idea for their podcast work out who's listening to the show 
Work out, as you said, if they've got an existing content that can be turned into podcast episodes. Work out, you know, who their target audience is and then work out what content they want to hear. Um, and then make the process as simple as possible. That's what they should be working on. That's what they should be kind of focusing on at the start, more than what equipment it is. The, there's three questions that I guess get asked pretty much straight away as soon as I mentioned podcasting to people. And you've already mentioned them. What is a podcast? How am I going to find a time or what am I going to share? And then do I need to buy loads of equipment for it? Um, and you've hit the nail on the head. People don't tend to focus on what's important. They focus on this thing is getting all the equipment and then actually having nowhere to do it or not any idea what to share. In terms of what they want to share, that all depends on who they're trying to kind of in who who they're trying to kind of target if they're trying to target people who they know and they know their habits their location what they want to do where they can listen to the podcast all those kind of bits they're going to form a better idea and a better show than someone who just buys all the equipment and has no idea what to offer and would you say that that something i know that i get asked this sometimes that you know whether or not it is a benefit for somebody to have a blog series that is in parallel with their podcasting or, you know, whether they should be two separate channels. What's what's your view on that, Gary? What do you think? It's a great question. So I would say it depends on what your audience, uh, um, how like for this one is reading, have both of them. Why not have both of them? Um, and it could be as simple as you talking into a camera and then recording it and taking off the audio from that that could be a simple podcast it's one of the most popular ways of doing it but equally having a podcast you could also bring people in you could do interviews like we're doing now uh, where you kind of talk to people and get their views you can again still have solo shows where you kind of give out information but you can enhance it so much you can have questions and answer sessions you can have competitions hey you can get involved with their social media on social media and ask people what they you know and then that gives them power to, to direct your show and guess what if they direct the show they're gonna get more benefit from listening to it and they want to listen because they want to see if you've implemented what they said so i'd say have a balance of both but the main thing is again keep the customer in mind keep the audience in mind and do what's best for them which I think is so important, isn't it? With with any kind of content creation that you're going to do for your business, it's it's really easy, I think, to get sucked into the vortex of writing about what you want to write about or talking yeah. about what you want to talk about. Um, whereas it's needing to, you know, to look outside of, of those particular parameters about, you know, what uh, you, what your customers might want to listen to. There's a great website actually called Ask the Public, which can give you some really good tips and hints about what's popular out there or more to the point what questions people are asking right now so you know if you're really stuck for content then that is somewhere that you can go and just start to get some some bright ideas about about going through with that um if you were able to give somebody a top tip gary who was thinking about getting started um energized about getting going with a podcast and the top tip is Apart from working with you, what would the top tip be for them when they're getting started? It's to, I would say the top tip is focus on the idea. Work on your idea. Work on, like during this, podcast, during this masterclass, you know, work on who you're trying to target in terms of doing that, in terms of the podcast. Work out what they really want to hear. You know, work out what you're passionate about, what you're knowledge about because it's going to take time and energy to, for you to actually produce the podcast yourself. Work out the format. You know, are you going to be doing an interview like we're doing now or are you going to be talking into the camera? You know, and then put all of those together. Spend more time on that than anything else because the more time you spend on that side of it, the end product's going to be so much greater because you're going to give so much more value to them. You're going to enjoy it more because you've already worked out all the problems. And then... I hate to say it as well as working with me on the websites on youtube there's so many tutorials take a look at them go onto podcast platforms listen to them you know actually listen to podcasts before you start actually doing that then you can figure out what you live and you hate yeah. about it it sounds so but just learn as much as you can once you've learned as much as you can put it all into the idea 
and then start sharing it. But work on the idea first. That'd be my big, big, big takeaway. It's just brilliant, isn't it? Because that, you know, that whole message of, you know, prior planning prevents piss poor performance is so, exactly. you know, it's so apt because if you're going to do it, you've got to give it your best shot. And I think that's a fabulous top tip to take away. So, you know, for those who are watching, Gary, how can they get in touch with you? What, uh, how can they work with you? Tell them a little bit about your business. OK, so um, I work with two main people at the moment. One per the pe person who wants to launch their own podcast, um, and I can do that in a number of different ways. I've got a webinar series, I've got challenges, um, or we can actually work together one-to-one -to, -one to launch your podcast over the course of two, four or eight weeks. That's kind of the person who wants to launch their podcast. Equally, I spend a lot of time in this podcast unsure where to take it so that could be automating the process to make it simpler for them that could be to actually produce shows themselves um for me to produce shows on their behalf so they can actually focus on doing more of what you're doing now rather than the editing side of it or actually going out there and talking to people so they're my two kind of different ways and if you wanted to find more information check out my website um i'll put i don't know if you'll supply a link to it but it's growmarketingmedia.com forward slash podcasting center and all of the details are in there that's awesome and yes you know absolutely all the ways that you can get hold of gary and contact him and connect with him will all be at the end of the interview gary thank you so much for giving me your time today i know you're a busy man um and it's been fabulous to get those great tips about how you can get started with podcasting or if you're already podcasting maybe it's given you some inspiration to maybe just up your game a little bit and you know where to go if you need some help with that so thanks so much for joining me today keep your eyes on the prize people there are plenty of these master classes interviews coming out all through the year. Today it has been Gary Jones in the spotlight talking to us about getting podcasting right for your business. Thank you Gary, thank you everybody, we'll see you out there on the circuit very soon. Thank you. Cool, there we go, let's stop that.